Hello everyone, Criminal and Archer here, time for some more Project Zomboid. So, I took a few days off of Project Zomboid, just, you know, in, everyone needs a break now and then. So, so we're back. I didn't want anybody thinking that it was gone for good. Just take a little break. Sometimes you need a break. We're going to do a uh, solo, normal survival mode. Not going to do custom sandbox today. Um, I'm going to do Bedford Falls this time. We did New Denver last time, but I'm going to do Bed Bedford Falls. Um, so we're going to do that. Spawn location is Bedford Falls. Let's random our character. Jimmy Gonzalez, who is now little old Sea Archer Gonzalez. Alright, that's fine. He looks looks good. Got a, kind of a camo thing going on. Alright, um... What do I have? Oh, that's my stealth character. Um, now the question becomes, what do we want to do this time? I liked... I did like our build last time. But... I'm not sure if we want to do the same thing again. Do we could do a fitness build. Um, let's see. Nah. Veteran. Veteran. See, I feel like veterans builds are are good for goofing around, but not so good for actual play because there's so few weapons to fa to be found most of the time. Doctor's not that useful. Fisherman, farmer, no. Repairman. Let's do repairman, actually. They got the the maintenance skills. They've got some carpentry going in. They've got fitness and strength. We'll do a repairman. Alright, so let's take our normal stuff. So we got... Um, slow healer. Um, high thirst usually isn't so bad. Prone to illness. Weak stomach. Hemophobic. Hypochondriac. Yeah. 20 points to spend. What do we got? We gotta take our stout and our thick skinned. Because God knows I can't really survive without them. <laughs> stout is more, actually. I mean, the, the knockback is nice, but it's just the. Increased carrying weight is pretty much the only the main reason I take stout. Okay, eight more points, huh? Handy. We take handy. It'd give us another level of carpentry and more maintenance skill. Eh, maybe not. Herbalist, former scout, fit. So let's take fit. And then we got two points to spend on something. Do, 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 do. What do we want? We got Wakeful, Outdoorsman, Fast Reader, Dexterous, or Cat Eyes. Um, well, let's take Outdoorsman. Alright. And we'll go with that. I've only played in Bedford Falls once. Um, it was right before the release of this last build. And I you know, abandoned the game because the new build came out. And none of the new none of the maps worked when the new build came out, so so I don't have don't know the the map very much. I know there's a fancy mansion in one place. That's about it. All right, here we are. Seem to be in a urban setting of some variety. All right, what you got? A couple of cans of pop. Pamp. Stay on the first floor for now. Well, hello, crates. Eh. Bathroom. Nothing in here. The doors? Nope, the rest of the doors are outside. The, as are the stairs. Okay. So, weird little setup here. Looks like a motel. Okay. So I guess I was just a visitor to, to Bedford Falls. I was I was visiting from out of town when the zombie apocalypse hit us. Close the nope, don't don't open that. I want you. To, nope, nope. That's not what I want either. There you go. So there's empty space behind us. So I wonder if the no zombies in the place you start with rule extends to all of these little zombie 
or little zombie things, little uh, motel room, side rooms, or not. Guess we'll find out. Right, we're not getting in that one right now. Or that one. Nope. Alright. This guy's not good at open windows. Nope. Alright. Oh, there we go. There's one that's open. Nothing. Nothing. A lot of sheets. I guess it is a, a hotel. A lot of sheets, not a whole lot else. Door? No. Nope. Screaming in the distance is always, always a pleasant sound. Nope. Alright. Let's get a drink of water while we're here. We do have high thirst, so we're going to have to stay on top of that. Nothing. Large bathrooms in this hotel. Alright, come on, dude. There you go. Something. Give me something. I don't even have a basic weapon at this point. Comb and some sh more sheets. Alright. That's all of the upstairs. Well, I mean, all of the upstairs we can get into, anyways. Bunch of broken windows. Pillow and nothing. Alright. Bathroom. Nothing and nothing. Not really sure why I keep going into the bathrooms. We know that there's nothing in them. I guess completionist, the completionist system me can't uh, can't leave it be. All right, the unlocked doors apparently at least extend to the lower level of this place because they're all unlocked. It's like nothing but pillows and sheets. All right, come on, come on! Somebody left a baseball bat behind. <clears throat> they were here for a little league tournament. They put their kid's baseball bat in the armoire and then left town and the kid cried the whole way home. Apparently not. Okay. All right, this place is a bit of a bust. What do we got down here on the corner? Nothing, nails. Yeah. We don't need nails that badly. So this place appears to be barricaded. That's interesting. It's kind of like a somebody was trying to, to, to save their life. So another motel hotel place right here. I feel like we're not in a not very good part of town. Oh, there's the bank. It's not that terrible of part of town, I guess. Alright, let's go this way. Alright, we got some zombies here. We're not unarmed, but we can do a good old uh, push and stomp. And the things I'm decent at. Push and stomp. Come on. Doesn't have anything. Okay. Fall down. Push and stomp doesn't work if you don't fall down. And it's just push and push. There we go. Alright, he's down. Next. Come on, lady. We all got things to do here. Alright. And let's also um, rip some sheets here so that we're good in case we get scratched or something. Morning. 
Push up. Oh, let's actually make sure the push works properly. Alright, there's a zombie inside, at least one. I can see him. And hear him. I can't go in this window because, um... Oh, alright, we'll just throw doors unlocked. I was going to say because I can't clear the, the glass without a weapon of some variety. Come on. Instead of the guy decided the door needed to be banged against more than I needed to be killed. Apparently you're not that hungry for brains, mister. If you wanted to bang up against the door instead of try to open up my sweet melon. Get some food. Alright. So there should be something in here. It's a coffee shop. Alright, All right, what do we got? We got a flashlight and a hammer. Hammer is an acceptable weapon. Not exactly what I would call a good weapon. Bathroom. Drink some water. Where the, where's the light switch in this? Here it is. There we go. Oh, it's a bar. Thought it was like a coffee shop. A kitchen knife. I'll take that. Mustard. Butter knives. I guess I could switch to knife to knifing. Uncooked salmon. Uh, frozen steak. Take this. Put some water in it. Alright, well. Ah, baseball bat. Hello, my friend. I just need a bag of some variety. There's a water bottle. Yep, there we go. Things are starting to come up Millhouse. Dart, huh? Whiskey bottle. Pop. Wine. Without a bag, I'm not going to be carry carrying a whole lot more than this. All right. No pockets. Okay. This seems like a mistake right there. All right. You can't see my mouse pointer. I need to figure out a way to fix that problem. It's getting me kind of ridiculous. Yeah, that's just the back side of the building. All right. Is this door open? No. Mm, pastries. I'm just going to eat these pancakes. Not going to last super long, so why not? Pastries, waffles. I need a bag. Yogurt, alright. Anything left in these? Sometimes there's stuff left in these things. Nope. That's a bag. We can do better than that though, right? I suppose we should take it for now. Yeast and rolling pin. Alright, so let's see. Let's get this back in our primary hand. Let's put some stuff away. Whiskey bottle. Pop this, this, this. Oh, don't do that. Alright. Go over there. Another whiskey bottle and a water bottle. I'm relatively unconcerned about the canned goods at the moment because there's you know so much um, stuff that needs to be consumed that is perishable first, and then we can worry about canned goods later. Not overloaded. All right. One thing we're going to do is we're going to take all of this stuff. Sandwich. Is that everything? Eat everything? I'm going to take it all and put it in the freezer in this place. So that if we need it later, we know where to find it. We're a little sad. We need to pick me up. 
Alright, there was one, yeah, I was going to say, there was one more place that we saw there that didn't get hit. Alright, come here. Let's just eat. We're going to eat a pancake. Boom. Alright, I'm going to take all of this, put it in the freezer. I believe cupcakes are one of those weird ones that don't actually go bad, but I'll just put it in here anyways. Freeze the bread. Let's lose a little bit of this stuff too. Put the pie away. And this. There we go. Take a waffle with this. <clears throat> Alright, so there's a second. Whoa, hello. Sorry, zombies. I was about to say is there's a second floor to this building. Just gotta figure out how to get in there. So I guess we probably get upstairs with, through this door right here, but I can't get it. It's not unlocked right now, and I don't really want to use up a whole bunch of durability on our baseball bat knocking the door down. So I have to wait for later. What is going on here? Tents in the front yard? Fake tents, but I don't know they're sleep. I see sleep. Alright. What is this place? This is just like a place where a bunch of drifters live. An abandoned house that nobody likes. Alright. What do you got on what do you got on the shelves? Crowbar. Be an okay weapon. I think we're okay. We're be okay weapon, but I think we're okay. Alright. So you can't climb ladders. Go up on the roof. Garbage candy. Always loves me some garbage candy. This is like a place where they sell heads headstones and stuff. Or is it a church? Looks like it used to be a, looks like a legion hall or something. Maybe it's a church. No, it used to be a church, and now it's like a, just a junked out place. Shouldn't light uh, fires inside, guys. That's a bad idea. Oh, there's more than one of them there. I thought I was I thought there was only one left. <laughs> Come on, fall down. Come on, dude. You're the, you're holding us all up here. You're the last one. Come on. Made me use a lot of durability off my bat here. There we go. Explode, please. Thank you. Nobody has anything good. Yeah, I guess this is supposed to have used to have been a church, and then it well into disarray, and a bunch of drifters moved in, something like that. Nothing. All right. Oh man. That is an ex-survivor house that is gigantic, so it's producing a lot of zombies. Might be some good stuff in there, though. I'm gonna think about it for later. Oh, 
Push and stomp and push and stomp. Come on. There you go. Oh, hello, my friend. It's not expecting to see you this early. I don't want you to take it the wrong way. I'm happy to see you. Just a little surprised. Alright, I put the sheets away. Still not enough. Uh, put the hammer away. Also, this is Chardonnay, which for some reason we're carrying around. Still not enough. Oh, wait. Oh, well. What is this building? I see you. No sneaking up on me. I guess it's just an office? Yeah, I guess it's just an office. It's the office kitchen. Check it in a second. Check the parts of this place that's easier to check. Kitchens always take a little while. Alright. Okay, um, let's see, what do we got? Nothing useful there. Why is there sleeping tablets in the refrigerator? Bottle of disinfectant, I should probably take one of those. Even though I'm already overloaded. This is apparently just, um, made wrong because there's also this stuff in a, um, kind of microwave. Alright. Um, I'm going to stop here for today, and I'll pick it back up next time. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you guys later.